headed to uh, um, a friend of mine's boss's place. He mentioned to me, his name is Calvin, he mentioned to me that his boss has a 1941 Case SC sitting in the shed of a farm he just bought with about 15 other tractors and uh, it's definitely been sitting there a while. But we're going to go take a look at it and uh, see what's going on with it, and you never know. You know, it's, it's not a center exhaust SC, but I just just passed a guy that's got like a 1530 McCormick Deering in his front yard. But we're, uh, we'll see what's going on with the SC, and then, uh, you know, go from there. But... Um, Stay tuned towards the end of the video because I'll I'll detail the uh, the next giveaway and let you guys know what's going on with that. I figured I'd do one since we hit 200 videos and right now I'm at about uh, just shy of 1,300 subscribers. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I'm I'm pretty excited about that. So I never thought this channel would do anything anything like that but it's all thanks to you guys that you know it's it's getting a little bit bigger and a little more popular and that's cool and I'll just try to keep keep doing what I'm doing and making videos and hanging out with you guys it's I, I have a great time doing it so hopefully it's it's a mutual feeling and I think it is because everybody seems to keep uh, keep watching the videos and commenting and that's great man appreciate all the all the support you guys are giving me but uh, we'll, uh, we'll keep going down the road here, and we should be there in probably about 10 minutes. So we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, there's a couple tractors out in the field over there. But all right, we'll see what happens when we get there. Okay, guys, here's the uh, 41 Case SC I was talking about. Uh, rear tires are flat, front tires are flat. Doesn't look like the, they'll hold air for very long at all. Motor is stuck. Uh, the front wheels are not original to the tractor. Uh, the rear fenders are in okay shape. Uh, this one here has got some pretty significant rust towards the bottom. I mean, you could, could do some patchwork on it, but it is pretty significant. It's got a sickle mower mounted on the back, or at least the beginnings of a sickle mower. It's got the early um, mason jar, small mason jar style sediment bowl, like uh, my Minneapolis Moline has. Um, it's got an oil filter, which at the time was an option. Fairbanks Morse uh, Magneto. It is not a center exhaust tractor, it's a side exhaust, but it does have what looks to be the original block. I can't, I can't really see the serial number on the block. Let me see if I can try to scrub it up here. can't really see but it's in there I, I can see some numbers there's a five so that's probably the the second digit in the serial number four five but on the on the dash it uh, it reads Let's see if I can get over there four five zero. 8608 SC so it's probably a mid mid-year model it's not extremely early it's not extremely late in the production year 
but it does have side exhaust. Uh, the block does not look to be cracked behind the carburetor. Whenever you guys are looking at these SCs, look behind the carburetor because they're really prone to cracking back here, freeze cracking. So make sure you check that out. It does have the early 41 hood, but it does need some work. Looks like it's starting to starting to crack here. Um, the uh, the rear bolts that hold the hood down and clamp the fuel tank, they're starting to pull through the the sheet metal there. So, I mean, it's it's not in bad shape. Doesn't have the original steering wheel, but it's. It's pretty tight as far as steering goes. Uh, the transmission, that is really tight. So that's, that's good. The shifter doesn't have much slop in it. I think the brakes are probably stuck. It's got the early open, open toolbox so it doesn't have a lid on it. It's got the early toolbox. Uh, still got the headlights mounted on the fenders and the tail light, but I mean it's it's a decent decent start for a project. But I don't know where this guy's at when he's thinking about money. But I I definitely wouldn't offer more than scrap for it just because you don't know what you got in the motor. For all we know. Uh, they could have, you know, the, the exhaust has been sitting open. So there could be, it doesn't look too bad in there, but there could be a crap load of, of mice nests. And when mice get in stuff, it can really cause a lot of damage because their urine is extremely acidic and corrosive. So you don't really know what you're getting into when when you got mice involved, but... This is the tractor, so 1941 Case SC, side exhaust, not center exhaust. But we'll uh, we'll see what he has to say, and uh, I'm gonna head up to another friend of mine's who's got over a hundred international tractors in his collection. So I'll see if he'll let me do some video up there. But I just wanted to take you guys along for this ride to check this tractor out, and here it is. So we're out at a friend of mine's place, his name is Mike, and uh, as you can see, he has got quite a collection. And this isn't even, not even half. <laughs> this is also the the friend of mine that bought my my parts F20 from me so nice W4 you got an F30 right here I think he said he's got over 20 F20s Got a few of them up in the trees here, in the bush. So he's got a few old McCormick Deerings here right along his entrance. And then as you can see beyond these trees is where most of his collection is kept. 
So that whole field over there is stacked full of them. But I'll see if I can get some more video there and see what happens. Yes, sir. He's got a lot of, a lot of nice units here that need a lot of work, but that's how a collection is started. But he's got an I-9, a Super W-9 diesel, some rare ones, WD-6, an I-6. Here's another F-30. I'm going to give you guys a little hint here. Easiest way to tell an F-30 from an F-20 is if you look at the, the bell housing. An F-30 has two mount bolts per side, where an F-20 only has one. Another F-30. They also have a, a taller fuel tank. If you look at the fuel tank, it's a lot taller. And the center on the final drive has a big nut on it. An F-20 doesn't have this. It's just a flat surface. But yes, sir. He's got a, a, lot of, a lot of items. Nice H with a, looks like a stand hoist loader. Got to watch out for cow pies here. Got an M on steel. Still has the distillate tank. You guys can see that distillate tank up underneath there. I haven't seen one of these stand hoist loaders up close, so it's kind of interesting to compare it to my farm hand. This is his roll of regulars. And again, the easiest way to tell the difference between a regular and an F20 is the open steering gears up top. So if you look, there's there's open steering up here. This must be a row of F14s. Here's one with the rear Oh, this is a homemade setup, but it's got duels on it. But if it were the original, the original setup, it'd be a really rare setup. It's gonna kind of walk up and down the rows and let you guys get a quick feel, and I'll take some photos and. Here's a F12 with a straight six in it. Pretty interesting little guy. They did a great job uh, fitting it in there. Pretty neat. A couple of F12 chassis. And I know he's got a, a W12 as well. It's up closer to his house. He wants me to take that home and get it running for him, but I just don't have the space. Just don't have the space to do it, so. Here's another carcass. 
of an F12. There's a good number of them. Good number of them here. There's an F20 with a it's a rare loader. It's also got a Balin overdrive on it. Oh, he's got two of them with the same loader set up. Cool. A lot of big cow pies around here. F20 with a with a corn picker set up. A few carcasses here and there. This is the uh the F20 frame that I sold him, so it looks like he's got it pretty well stripped down. This here is a very busted block. Well, that was about half of my friend Mike's tractor collection. We're on our way home now, but the other half is uh, some of his more rare items that we uh, didn't do any uh, video of. But um, a lot of a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, he's got a lot of old cars and stuff. He's got a. Uh, he was in Canada and he bought a uh, old Mercury pickup was really cool so a uh, pretty rare truck to find I think it's probably a, a early 60s maybe mercury pickup but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the video that we did get and uh, I took a bunch of photos so I'll put those in the video here but yeah um, I'm gonna keep driving and then when we get home I'll uh, I'll talk a little bit about the uh, the giveaway that I'm gonna do so let's uh let's keep driving and we'll see you when we get home hey guys well as you can see we're back in the uh, the old shop and uh, it's been probably about a week and a half since I started making the video for um, well week and a half to almost two weeks now since I started making the video for the trip to look at that case SC and also to check out my buddy Mike's collection of international tractors. But as you guys saw in the last video, that was actually kind of between these two parts of this video. Um, I had to put my dog down, Roxy, and that was kind of a kind of a big deal for us. So we've been just kind of laying low the last week and a half or so. But I'm back in the shop now. Last weekend I was over at my buddy Tony's house, uh, not little Tony, but a different Tony, and we did a, a lot of welding and grinding on this trailer that I got from Rudy, but um, as a result of that I got metal in my eyes, <laughs> and uh, yes I was wearing glasses, but as you guys know that work with metal it's it's inevitable at some point you're gonna get metal in your eyes whether you're wearing safety glasses or not so um, I had to go to the doctor to get that removed and there was rust in my eyes as well and I was at the doctor again this morning getting more rust removed from my left eye and it's pretty sensitive right now so I'm doing uh, doing what I can in the shop but we uh let me get this thing turned around here if I can figure out how. Well, maybe it won't let me. But anyways, I'll just do it like this. We uh, we added side rails to the trailer. So we got some hefty side rails with angle iron that we built. Uh, I also had to 
cut out and replace the rear tongue cross brace. I don't think you'll be able to see it without a flashlight. So it's basically just a piece of channel iron that goes underneath the decking here that uh, is welded on both sides to the trailer frame itself and then the tongue in the middle is welded to it. So we had to replace that. I put new tires, new used tires on the wheels, primed and painted the entire trailer, put new lug nuts on the wheels, and uh, I just finished put, putting the decking on. I have to, uh, these last two outer pieces, I'll have to rip on a table saw to fit in this area. Um, the way I'd like to do this is I start in the center and work my way out with the planks. That way they're uniform across the trailer. And then the outer two planks I, I rip on a table saw to, to fit. So the only thing left to do on that is put our fenders on, our safety chains, and our lights. And then it'll be roadworthy. But uh, yeah, it's a good looking trailer. So that's where we're sitting with that. And the... Montgomery Ward snowblower. I did get the flywheel off uh, and the, the recoil clutch right here. So thanks to everybody that gave me input on that. Basically all you got to do is take a brass punch and tap these these ears in a counterclockwise fashion to unthread this from the, the end of the crankshaft. And then to get the flywheel off just take a big brass drift and a hammer and you know hit on each side and it should pop loose fairly easily so polish that up so that should be good uh, I still have to clean the fuel tank out I still have the carburetor soaking and the sediment bowl inside the the chem dip there but uh, let's see what else uh, the points it's underneath the cover here let me see if I can grab a flashlight trying to get it with one hand boom we got light all right so the points on this snowblower were really really corroded I'll, I'll show you here once I get it uncovered but uh, you guys can see all that white corrosion in there I don't know if you can see that, but I took the points and condenser out. I polished them. I probably am going to replace them since I'm this far into it. Rudy's got a, a set of points and condenser that I can get from him, so I'll probably replace them. I also polished up the uh, the armature uh, ends, so that way uh, you know it interacts with the the flywheel accordingly. So that's where we're sitting with that. It should run without too much trouble. Oops, sorry. Should run without too much trouble. So got to order a carb kit yet, but that's that's easy. So all right, just putting my flashlight away and my mag or my battery on the charger. And anyways, that's uh, that's where we're at as far as this case SC goes. I talked to the guy that owns it, and there's really nothing special about it. It's a first-year production SC, but it's not a center exhaust SC. Um, so there's there's really nothing great about it except the fact that it's complete, and, you know, that's really about it. So he uh, he wants quite a bit more money than what I'm willing to pay for something like that. So it's going to have to sit there. Um, hopefully it doesn't go to scrap, but I'm not willing to give him, you know, what he, what he wants for it. So you just have to, sometimes you have to come to an understanding of when something is worth it and when it's not. Um, in the past, most of my projects have been, you know, rescued from the dead. But 
you know with a with a baby on the way we got to be very very conscious about money so that's kind of where we're sitting with that but uh the giveaway video that's coming up that'll be my next video and i apologize for you know dragging that out but it's been like i said it's been hectic you know with the poison ivy infection and then i got a skin infection now i got this eye issue i'm dealing with I had to put my dog down so it's like what else is going to happen here but the next video i promise hopefully by next weekend will be the giveaway video i'm still trying to think of a couple things to uh to gift to you guys so yeah it's been busy but we're getting there we're getting caught up and i know there's a few emails i got from from some people that i i have to get back to i've been working on catching up on a lot of that as well so hang in there guys we'll uh we'll get it we'll get it taken care of but that's probably going to do it for this video um i don't even know where i left off in the last portions of this but i'm trying to trying to recap and catch up on everything so there's one good shot of the trailer and with that we'll talk to you guys later and um yeah thanks for tuning in again see ya <music>